Los Angeles police will launch an investigation into the death threats made against the mother of the octuplets. Early Show National Correspondent Hattie Kaufman reports. Despite new photos that show a mom bonding with her newborns, public anger at the ultimate cost of these babies has led to death threats against Nadia Suleiman. Really ugly descriptions of what they would like to do, including having the uterus of Nadia Suleiman ripped out. Suleiman's representative showed me examples. You people are shameless, trailer trash, being exploited for the sake of public assistance money. Ironically, many of the threats are being left on Suleiman's website, which was set up to generate donations. More stimulating talk radio, John and Ken show. John the news that Suleiman hey, already hey, receives hey. public assistance has outraged radio listeners of the Sorry, John and Ken show in Los Angeles. And she has six kids, three disabled, no income, no job, no way to get a reasonable income anytime soon. The poll question was, are you going to donate money to Octomom? That's what we call her. And uh, it was 99 to 1, no. Suleiman says all her 14 children were the result of in vitro fertilization performed by Dr. Michael Kamrava. In another development, the LA Times reports Dr. Kamrava implanted another woman with seven embryos. She's now pregnant with quadruplets, but she denies the doctor's involvement. The babies remain in the neonatal unit, where it's estimated their medical costs could approach a million dollars. It's hard to pick on newborns, eight of them. I, I, I don't want to do that. But it is mostly, it makes you angry because she's the public face of this. Hattie Kaufman, CBS News, Los Angeles.